Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Freecoiner coming back to you again today. Hope everybody's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. Before I get started here, I do want to say I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. All right, guys. So as we see here, the market is not doing what we want it to do, and that is moon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just uh, just in the red. I mean, hey, this is this is uh, normal stuff for us guys. Um, it looks like the uh, uh, crypto, uh, not crypto, the stock market is is coming back up. But you know, the other day I did say we were going to see the ups and downs, guys. If you haven't been looking. The uh, you know everything the 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 economy um, stock markets everything globally is not doing well with you know having these uh, rate cuts and all that uh, guys I mean just from what I'm finding and uh, what I'm reading and hearing it's just not good uh, now I I'll tell you this I'm I uh, listened to was her name Susie from Esoteric Trading. She did a very, very good video today. You might want to check that out. Um, very informative. I, uh, I definitely learned something myself. So, yeah, you, you might want to check that out, guys. Um, so, anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about this. Not much going on, guys. Uh, but soon we'll, we'll see something. We will see something very nice soon. Just, just got to be patient. And I know it's, I say that, and we all say that very, very often. But it's, it's true. It's just the truth. All right, so coming from Mr. XRP Crypto Wolf, SBI, Crypto Exchange Adopts Tech to Help Meet FATF Standards. So, uh, yeah, guys, more BC Trade stuff. Uh, I'll just go ahead and read some of this. BC Trade, the Japan-based crypto exchange launched by SBI Holdings last year, is integrating new technology to help it comply with international customer verification standards issued by the Financial Action Task Force in June. So uh, basically, I'll just go ahead and read this uh, from what Michael uh, Ew, the founder of CEO of uh, CoolBitX, because uh, actually it looks like they um, uh, partnered with him. So let's go ahead and get into it. The FATF has now set firm KYC AML guidelines for the virtual asset industry, regulating uh, VASPS uh, uh, virtual asset service providers in the same way as financial institutions and a major step towards safer and more widespread cryptocurrency adoption we are proud to have partnered with SBI BC on CoolX wallet and a KYC AML solution based on cool bitx's technology so um, SBI moving forward to make things better make it you know just just uh, step step up on uh, all the things that they're trying to get done guys I definitely believe this is going to uh, all of this stuff that they're doing all of these different steps that they're taking is just going to move the adoption it's just gonna help with all of this very exciting and you know and, and again like I said uh, I don't believe we have very long to wait uh, I think we have um, more institutions using X rapid than is being let on so I'll go ahead and read this uh, next quote here from from Katow himself. Coolex Wallet has given SBI VC an easy way to protect our customers while complying with Japanese and international KYC standards. The borderless nature of digital assets requires a solution that isn't bound by geographical um, boundaries. And because of that, we are excited to implement the wallet as a secure system to drive crypto cryptocurrency adoption forward. So again, the adoption is 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 happening. Uh, SBI is, yeah, they're they're just doing what they need to do to make sure we see the moon <laughs> so not sure if that's gonna happen guys but uh, all in all it is uh, is good news um, more more that uh, is being put out there to uh, you know to facilitate this whole situation to get this uh, adoption moving forward guys I'm, I mean I know personally I'm ready to you know I'm ready to start Lamboing and all that probably not gonna get a Lambo but hey sounds good all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next article here. Uh, this is what MoneyGram is using uh, XRP for. So yeah, MoneyGram actually uh, says here they are. We it says we're using XRapid to buy a portion of uh, currency of our currency needs. Sorry, in major received markets, uh, we expect to expand to several major currencies over the 
two-year life of the commercial agreement with Ripple. While we are in the process of developing markets, we cannot disclose which currencies we are buying and our volume of trading activity. So they're like, yeah, we are doing something, but we can't tell you what we're doing exactly. You know, so we know whether they're buying different currencies. They're looking to spread, um, again, more adoption, more XRP usage. Guys, this is what we need, obviously. Um, I just, I, I, I tell you guys, you're going to be shocked. If what I'm being told is true, you're going to be shocked at the results of, uh, of what's about to happen now. Uh, could it, you know, could it be incorrect? Could I be um, uh, really uh, mistaken? Yeah, it, it, absolutely. But I do find that uh, my my actual uh, sources have been correct. What's happening right now with the um, with the markets, uh, all of that stuff with the stock market and everything, so far has been just about on point. So. We'll see if it continues. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what to expect and when, but as from what I understand right now, it is looking very, very good. Well, I mean, you know, relatively, the stock market going down and the um, and the economy tanking is not good. But uh, being that we are in crypto, it's it's going to be good for us. So. Coinbase adds Tezos, uh, not available for trading in New York. That sucks. Uh, but hey, Coinbase is still being active. That's a good thing, right? I'm not a Tezos fan. If you guys are, that's great. Uh, if you're making money in it, which I doubt, I mean, I don't think anybody's making any money right now. But, um, hey, let's move on. XRP fans to ripple, burn more coins, pump, uh, whatever. Come on, man. I mean, Guys, if you agree with this, please let me know. If you don't agree with it, please let me know. I mean, no no fighting or anything like that, but I personally do not agree with this at all. I, I think we need to uh, reach this uh, in an organic fashion, as organic as possible. We don't need Ripple manipulating anything, uh, although I would like to see a higher price of XRP. I want it to be done in a proper way, not burn the coins because that's this is going to cause other issues down the road we don't want that we don't want that at all all right so enough of this guys i wanted to also go into uh some of the health stuff that i have uh in the past and number one thing guys there are two things that i am very much into and that's uh one is keto the other is uh eating a lot of meat uh, i found that my health is uh, and I, it's not that I was in bad health, but um, I can see things that have definitely improved, um, uh, such as, you know, joint issues that I've, I've had in the past and, you know, certain things like that. Um, they've gotten a lot better. Now, guys, I do want to say I'm not a, a doctor. I don't have any type of medical anything. I've just done research and I'm just passing that, uh, you know, information on and telling you what my opinion is. So Make sure you check with your physicians or doctors or whatever before you do anything as far as your health is concerned. Okay, so uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I came across this particular article right here. And, you know, you guys know uh, if, if you've been around for a while on my channel, I tried to be a vegan. I tried to be a, a vegetarian, but it didn't work out for me because um, I just noticed that I, I, my health was going down, to be honest with you. And I, I, while I was doing this, I actually broke my ankle. Now, did that have anything to do, uh, well, did me trying to be a vegan and all of that stuff have anything to do with that? I mean, I don't know. I never broke a bone before in my life. Uh, and how I broke my ankle was just, I mean, I've, I've had harder falls or, you know, I've had worse things happen and still didn't break anything. So I, I don't know. But either way, uh, Tim Noakes is the professor here who uh, he's, he made this statement right here. He says, you cannot survive on a vegan diet. Uh, so, you know, and I find that interesting. I always thought in my in my life, because he, he says that you can survive on 100% uh, animal diet, but you can't survive on 100% uh, vegan diet. Uh, well, in other words, basically not eating meat at all, you can't survive is what he's saying. So, uh, you know, and when I was younger, I thought it was the other way around. Um, so, you know, I, I think 
you know, that that says a lot to be honest with you i think when you when you think about how we grew up what we're what we're taught um it just it it speaks to the i don't know i, I don't want to go too deep into certain areas but all in all guys uh my, you know i think the main topic here should be about truth and what's reality okay now i know a lot of people don't want to eat animal products because you know they want to be humane to animals and all that stuff um but you know hey it's been a part of our society i mean human societies throughout history have always eaten meats always you, there is no society that never uh, that that was just completely plant-based you know it just never has happened uh, it is it is not possible for us to only eat plants we don't have the uh, type of gut that's necessary to do that uh, just you know and according according to him he says uh, uh, Tim Noakes he says there has never been a society that can survive on a completely vegetarian or vegan diet he says we have to, we have to have some animal products. Vegan people survive, but because you can get some of the nutrition you need from supplements, which means it's not a complete diet. So this is this just the rationale here. Um, uh, vegans don't. Okay, so you don't look at this when you're uh, being a vegan because I mean no vegan actually can. I guess I don't know wrap their heads around this. It, you cannot survive. Right. If society broke down, we'll say, OK, um, and you couldn't go to the grocery store and get your um, supplements, you wouldn't be able to survive. As a vegan, you, you, you simply couldn't because plants don't give us all the nutrition we need. We're, or rather, we can't extract all the nutrition that we need from plants. We don't have the equipment, like I said, we have. But we can get everything we need from animal foods. It's very uh, very important um, because it really speaks to the information that was being given to us. Uh, every vegan out there, uh, they are taking supplements of some kind. They can you cannot just eat the plants, and that's I don't know, guys. That to me is a blaring red flag for me because if I can't go into nature and just and survive off of that particular diet, there's something wrong. And he even goes uh, goes on to say, uh, now what's happening is that vegans and vegetarians are trying to convert the biology of humans to the way we were three million years ago. And he says we can't do that. There's one species that tried a panda bear, the panda bear, and it is one of the most unhealthy animals on earth. And I never, I didn't know that. Actually, that's something I'm going to look into. But uh, all in all, guys, um, this is just something, like I said, that I've been looking into for a few months now. And uh, I'm diving even deeper into it. Uh, one guy that I listen to and I watch his videos quite often is uh, Frank Tufano. Uh, he has a, quite a lot of knowledge and very, you know, just sound knowledge that he uh, is putting out there. So you guys want to check him out, definitely do so. I, I, I think it's, uh, you know, worth the time. Um, also, as far as the keto side, uh, something that I am trying uh, is I actually – put the link in the uh, description below so you, if you want to check this out it's a hundred it's it's completely free free uh, you just have to uh, pay for the shipping cost but you get a 30-day supply for free and uh, if you want to continue it you can if you don't want to you can just stop it uh, you know right away but either way you know I'm giving it a try and uh, so far so good I mean um, uh, my my main objective right now is to uh, get back to the place I was, uh, you know, 15 years ago, which most people, <laughs> when they see me, they uh, and I tell them I'm 48, they're they're just completely flabbergasted. So uh, most people, you know, most people think I'm around between 30 and 35 years old, but hey, I'm almost 50. So I'm just trying to keep that up, uh, have no wrinkles or of any kind whatsoever. Uh, about the only thing I do have is just, you know, I have some, uh, you know, quite a lot of white in my beard and you know, things like that. I mean, that's just, that's wisdom. That's wisdom, baby. So, so anyway, um, uh, yeah, guys. So if, if you want to check that out, just go ahead and click on that link below. Yes, it is something, uh, that would help me out as well. I just want to be completely, uh, forthcoming with you. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, like I said, 
it is totally free so it's not costing you anything if you don't want to continue with it so you know just to uh, let you know that but either way guys thank you for joining me today I hope you found this interesting if you haven't done and done so already hit that subscribe button smash that like button and hit that post notification button so you know I posted again until next time this has been mr. frequenter take care of yourselves and God bless.